How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey guys, Dave here. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. They've got an amazing dessert products library with unlimited downloads. They've got over 50 million assets. They've got photos, stock videos, graphics, video templates, motion graphics. Honestly, for $16.50 a month, they've got so much stuff that'll just make your life easier and help you create things faster, meet your deadlines, and keep your clients happy. For more info, check out the links in the description. Let's get into this video. Hey everybody, what's good? Dave here. I hope everybody's well. Today, I wanna to show you guys five ways of how to make money using Premiere Pro. Not here to blow small or talk about theory. These are actually some of the ways that I use Premiere Pro to make money and make sure we got food on the table and the kids have shoes. First one and probably a major one for me is podcasting. Now, podcasting has got massive in the last couple of years. Everybody wants a podcast, everybody has a podcast. And personally, I think if you've got a brand, you probably need a podcast. With that comes the need of editing both video and audio. I'm fortunate enough to be able to do both, clean up the audio, mix it, master it, and then do the video side as well. A lot of video editors though, don't wanna be dealing with sound and a lot of audio guys don't wanna be dealing with video. So, I mean, in that case, you might wanna pair up with someone that has that skill and kind of vice versa. But I find that this is a great way of making money on a regular basis because they need regular episodes releasing and you need regular work coming in. I set templates, the first few take a bit of time, but after that, I know what I'm doing. I've set a workflow. There might be some training either side with a client. A lot of times I get Zoom video and audio, which isn't the best, but you just make the best of what you can do with that. And a lot of times I'll have audio recorded with a really nice microphone and then video recorded with a decent enough camera. I sync those up, stick them in Premiere, multi-cam everything and make sure it's like nice and interactive throughout the episode so it's a bit more engaging send that over to the client they can upload the video up to youtube and then the audio to whoever hosts their podcast and then that becomes a big pie of content that we'll touch on later on in this video second one is vlogs and online content with this one right here i've got some clients where they understand that they need to be producing content constantly and get into that habit i get sent a bunch of files obviously there's a bit of back and forth a bit of training a bit of guidance on that of how to get better sound, better image, all that kind of stuff. But I get sent a bunch of files that I need to make sense of and make a storyline out of and send it back to them. But yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you'll find a lot of people that need that kind of stuff. Next one is repurposing, and you've probably come across repurposed content, and this could be massive for you. Basically, you take the podcast, a big pie, and cut it into smaller pieces. So 30, 60 second clips that can go on TikTok, Reels, Facebook, LinkedIn, to make that content travel a bit further. What I do is stick everything in Premiere Pro, double speed it, use the speech to text tool if I need to find any keywords or specific sections, chop it up, make sure it's in the correct ratio, and make 30, 60 second clips that are snappy, straight to the point, maybe add some graphics, jump cuts. A good example of this is KSI. What he's done is taken his videos that he's already edited and finished, chopped them into 30, 60 second clips, and I think that channel alone has about 50 million views. I know it's KSI, but he's applying the same thing. He knows that if he can get people to consume the 30, 60 second clips and they like it, they'll probably go back and listen to the whole thing. Now, if you're only working with audio, you can still make great content, make the text the main feature, use stock images and video and the background to keep some of that interest. And then a step further would be going into After Effects and getting different elements reacting to the audio. Another thing I see rising in popularity are e-courses. Now with e-courses, you've got a few stages before you get to the editing stage. You've got the planning and scripting of the content, which your client would do. And then you got the filming and recording, which if you would do, you know what you're doing. If your client does it, you might need to consult them, advise them on what to do and how you'd like the files delivered to you. And then you got the editing stage, which you do. Just make it sound and look dope. Maybe add some screen recorders from your client, maybe some slides that they would provide some graphics, motion graphics, anything that will just make it a bit more interesting. Last one is highlights of events. Now with this one right here, I'll get sent a bunch of footage sometimes and I need to make sense out of the footage, find the best bits, make a highlight reel, add some music, add some graphics and Vato Elements is great for that and just make it look great for the client. Sometimes I'll be the one filming, so I'll go down and then I've only got myself to blame if I haven't got the right shots. An extra tip for you that I've done before, if you're down there filming anyways and there's like a keynote speaker, film them, repurpose that content, present it to them, and it might lead to extra work in the future. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the links are going to be in the description. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. If you want to come and say hi to me personally, I hang out mostly on Instagram. Dave the Greco is the handle. Come and say hi. Until next time, take care. Peace.